Here's a man that wanted to leave Bad Boy. He wanted to do his own thing. He mentioned several times how he was tired of being used and abused. That he was bigger than Bad Boy itself. Somebody, and we ain't going to call no more names, dangled a bogus contract in front of his face so he wouldn't leave the company. How I know I was there. Another thing, Jay-Z wanted him out of the industry, period, so he could take over and be the biggest hip-hop artist around. And I wonder who's the biggest hip-hop artist today. It's all business, folks. And unfortunately, you as a fan, most of you won't understand. But it was all about the business. And the two billionaires have done what they seeded to do. I was offered $30,000 to perform a hit on Biggie Smalls. March 1st of 1997, I was approached by Diddy to perform a hit, to perform a hit on one of his artists. Finding out that he wanted all the rights to all his catalogs. I turned him down because I also found out that very night that Biggie had plans of leaving Bad Boy. Biggie should have never been in California to prom promote an album with a broken fibula bone who can barely walk. To go to another studio. When Diddy has his own studio in New York. Diddy is pure evil. He has a very nasty disposition. He treats everybody like crap. Every single employee he's ever had. He and his mother have looked down on them, belittled them, talked to them like they were the lowest scum on the earth. So he could always have his way. Amar, Muhammad, and Suge Knight, or Amir, they took the blame for something that was already getting ready to be in motion. It just happened at and early, of course, so many people have asked me why I waited 20 years or so long to come out and start talking and telling about the things that have happened in the industry. The most important reason why is I had children and I still have children, but at that point in time, they were young. And my number one priority was protecting my children. I care less about the stuff that went on in the industry at that point in time. For as money, it was never about money and it's still not about money. I have money. But there's stories that have to be told. The truth needs to come out. A man lost his life. So much more went on. Physically have seen Diggy indulging in gay activities. I'm not bashing him. Directly bashing him. I'm just telling the truth. He knows like I know. Gene knows like I know. Boo knows like I know. William knows Bodyguards that were around him know. See, I had my own company. So I didn't need him. I didn't have to take his stuff. 
the bull crap that came along with being around Diddy. But see, when I start talking about Jay-Z and Beyonce, oh, some toes will curl for sure. But hey, the truth is the truth, whether you believe it or not. Yeah, I'm under investigation. So that's why I'm telling what I'm telling. Because now they have proof. I have physically showed them proof. Things that I have witnessed, things that was told to me. And yeah, of course, it's coming out. And I don't feel ashamed for saying what I've said. I've done what I've done. A lot of you won't understand. And it's not meant for you to understand. First of all, we're not talking negative about a child. We're just sharing facts. See, me being on the scene, I'm only telling my side of the story. I'm telling what I know. To you as a fan, you are a financial accounting number. You are a decimal in this in industry. This child knows who she is. She understands the arrangement of her semen, of her existence, of her being here. She will be well taken care of if anything were to happen to her parents. She knows who her father is. She knows who her mother is because at the end of the day, their names are on that piece of paper that states they are the parents. Of course, she's saying, Uncle Ron, she's their twin. She looks exactly like him. What you're saying is a lie. No. You have family members that are in your family right now that look exactly like other family members and have no direct blood. As a fan, you will never accept truth. You will never know everything that goes on in the industry. To become that power, that billionaire, that fame, that fortune, of course there's a price. There are sacrifices made, but it's an institution.